Hi, this is the last in the uh, tutorials for Illustrator. Um, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some Pathfinder and Clipping Mask tools. Um, so I've got some things set up for you already so that I don't have to go through how to do various bits, so drawing shapes and that you already know how to do that. Now all I want to do is I'm going to start off with the car, Bugatti Veyron, and I've got this box. Now what I want to do is I'm going to actually cut that picture to this shape. So actually let's just make it look a bit bigger. Um, this shape needs to be a clear fill, so it needs to be like that. So what we should end up with is just the car without this bit around the background. So what I need to do is I need to have the shape selected and then also press shift and select the picture that I'm going to be cutting it from. I go to object and I go to clipping mask which is down at the bottom and press make. It literally just gets rid of the outside. So if I click off of it and click back on it again, I've got this and I can, if I want to, I can change the shape, and I can change the size of it, that sort of thing. So that's one done. Um, you can use slightly more unusual shapes, so this one is a star, so let's just get rid of that, and then we press shift and click that. Um, there is a shortcut on this one, so if you press control and seven, there we go, and that gives you your star. Um, so that's that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to make it into a picture frame. Okay. Now I need two circles of the same size and I'll show you why later. And I'm going to put this just roughly wherever my aperture is going to be. Now for this one I need something slightly different. So let's go up to the window and let's click Pathfinder. Okay, so my Pathfinder, oops, I didn't mean to do that. The Pathfinder. There we go. Right, my Pathfinder tools. There we go, that's what I wanted. My Pathfinder tools um, will do various things so divide, trim, merge, fop, outline, minus back, and various other stages up here. Now, what I want to do is I want to use the divide tool. So all I'm going to do is divide this from this. Now, it does need to be no fill. I need to select that one as well. Uh, I'm just going to click divide and it won't look as though much has happened, except for that circle has now become a blue line. What that's like is that's like putting a cookie cutter right the way through that rectangle. So what I'm going to do is with my direct selection tool, I'm going to just select on that path. And I'm just going to hit the delete button on my keyboard and I'm going to delete it again. And there we go. Now that is a whole straight way through. And just to prove that, I'm just going to float it on top of the things I've already cut already. Ah, it's not at the front. Let's move it, arrange, go to front. There we go. So that is now cut right the way through. Now, the reason I needed another one is because I've got another picture that I'm going to put in the background. So let's go to File and Place. This is how we do pictures. And I've got, no, it's not that one, it is Lego Batman. Have a bit of Lego, and you can't go wrong with Batman. So let's make him a bit bigger and pop him there. So this is kind of what we're going to be moving him to the front. So I want my picture to look a little bit like that. Now unfortunately for me, let's move down a little bit. Unfortunately Batman yeah is a little bit too big as you can see he's poking out the bottom there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a clipping mask of Batman and then position him in there which is why I needed that second circle so let's position my circle over the part of Batman that I want to keep there we go and then I'm just going to press shift and select and then control and seven Done this right. Bring this to front. There we go. There's 
that there. And now I've got the exact size to fit into my picture frame. And if I want to, I can send it to the back or send the photo frame to the front. And there we go, there's Batman. If you want to, you can do something called grouping it. Basically, that means that rather than having to select both bits, you can just group them together. So we can press Control and G, and then both bits will move at the same time. So that's that one. Right, the next bit I want to show you, uh, we don't need this for that. And the next bit I want to show you is what I've got these um, up here for. Okay, and um, actually, let's just do three. Right, so what I want to show you is how to um, do some letters. Now, this letter is my initial S. Um, I'm going to do an L and a C as well. That makes up my initials. Now, I've just typed that in normal type, um, and all I'm going to do is click on it, and then I'm going to go to Object, and I'm going to go to Expand, and click OK. Now, what that's done is that's made it an actual shape. Rather than it being a letter or a piece of text, it's actually a shape now. And I'm just going to reverse those. Um, and I'm going to do the same for my other initials. So L and C. And now I'm just going to expand them both. We've got them individually. Now you can't do it all together, unfortunately. The program won't allow you to. So let's shift and hit the background and press Control and Seven. You always have to have the shape that you're cutting in the front. That's why I'm getting that message. So arrange, bring to front. I'm just going to do the same with those because we're probably going to have the same problem. Bring to front, right? So let's try again. Okay, so there's my S. Let's try with the L. And then finally, let's see. There we go. And if you use these intersect lines, you can get them to line up. Um, you can also use the align tool. So let's bring the align tool in and you can arrange them in whichever way you want so let's select all of them and um, we want them to be level at the top there we go so it moved the l a little bit and um, if we wanted them to be one on top of each other it would be like that but that's a bit daft for letters um, but you can uh, have a fiddle around and uh, there we go they're equally placed now so that's that um so hopefully you'll have a go at using some clipping masks and uh, good luck. Bye.